recording this video. I'm thirsty. Fuck. Bit extra. This is greatness. Fuck Dr. Pepper's all about the extra. Ah, fuck, man. Ah, whatever. Anyways, um, video. Uh, spoiler for SmackDown. I will have spoiler in the title because I actually respect people who don't read spoilers. I'm not a prick like some people who put spoilers in the video title. Um, if you haven't watched, well, if you don't want to be spoiled, don't watch the video. Wait till after SmackDown to watch it or something. Or if um, you did read the spoiler, go ahead and watch it. So, anyways, <clears throat> by the way, SmackDown. I don't see why people watch SmackDown. I honestly don't see why people watch SmackDown. Your only complaint is it's on Friday nights, man. Who stays on a Friday nights to watch wrestling? Okay. Well, you realize that every Friday morning, SmackDown is uploaded on YouTube. I remember because I have to wake up for school, you know, I go about 6:30. Take a shower and I go on YouTube and it's already up. So I'm like, you know, I watch the moments like someone did be new like theme, you know, I'll watch that. Whatever. So it's up in the mornings. You know, their YouTube channel, WWE Fan Nation, uploads it after it's over. So it's, you know, up so you can watch it, you know, uh, Saturday morning or something. Saturday if you're bored or something. Or you DVR it. So you have no excuse not to watch the show. But uh, sorry about that little rant there. By the way, one more thing. Um, if anyone has a flip cam HD camera, <clears throat> sorry, I got a burp one coming out. <clears throat> there we go. Sorry about that. And if you have like one of those rechargeable battery packs that you buy with it, does anyone have any problems with theirs? Because I'll put the camera on my computer and it will charge, and it'll say it's fully charged. But when I take it out, it's only like a quarter full of battery. So I'm like, what the fuck? So if anyone can help me out on that, you know, thank, uh, thank you. But if you can't, whatever. Anyway, this is the video. It's rambling on now. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. So, in SmackDown, there's a segment. Michael Cole's in the ring, and he brings out the SmackDown Money Bank ladder match winner, Daniel Bryan. Cole basically is like, I don't like the fact that he won, thinks it's a fluke that he won, blah, blah, blah. Daniel Bryan tells him he doesn't care what Michael Cole thinks. Then Daniel Bryan goes on to say that he's going to be the first person to ever name the day he's going to cash it in on because he apparently has never heard of RVD. Uh, I don't know if I wrote that wrong or something. If it's like dissed RVD or he just says he never heard of him from what I read, <laughs> which I thought was kind of funny because, uh, you know, John Cena made the TNA reference on Raw and now Daniel Bryan making, you know, RVD from TNA reference on SmackDown. That's just, it's getting crazy. <clears throat> and um, he says he's going to cash in at WrestleMania 28. Everyone's already bitching about this. Wrestling fans, more specifically, internet wrestling fans, nothing can please them within wrestling, especially in WWE. Nothing can please them. Okay. People were bitching and complaining that they're tired of seeing all these cheap cash ins, and they want to see, you know, a normal cash in, like one on one. With like no cheap cash, and they're 100 fully, you know, they're healthy, they're ready to go like a normal match, not cheap cash. In. You get that, and you start complaining. You're a bunch of fucking complainers. I'm telling you, because honestly, this is why I'm always con complaining. What the fuck's that word I'm looking for? Contemplating. Fuck, I don't know. I don't pay attention in English. All right, so don't give me shit for it. Contemplating. I think that's the word complicate. Damn it, I can't pronounce it. Complicate. Fuck. Not complicated. Comp complaining. Fuck, you know what I mean. Anyways, about leaving. Because I'm tired of people bitching about when they get what they want to get, but it's not good enough for them. By the way, just throwing this in. I went to Hot Topic yesterday, and they actually had a new Randy Orton t shirt there. I was going to buy it, but, you know, whatever. I didn't, so. It's a very sick shirt, by the way. Anyways, people are bitching, and people are, first thing people are saying is, they're going to do the same thing they did with Kennedy in 07. No, they're not, because Kennedy 
the reason why he lost is because um, he was injured. You know, he says in cashing at WrestleMania, and um, suppose what I hear is supposed to cash in on Undertaker. Um, I don't know if it was supposed to be at WrestleMania or he's gonna be like his heelish and cashed in for us at at that SmackDown after the Steel Cage match, which Edge did. But Kennedy got injured, so that's the reason why he lost the briefcase. So I don't know why people are saying that he's gonna lose it. And second of all, if the YWC went off like no tomorrow when he got released. Imagine how off everyone's gonna go if you lose that briefcase. WWE isn't stupid enough to do that. Alright? So Daniel Bryan's not gonna lose that briefcase. And if they do make him lose a briefcase, a freaking. especially Cody Rhodes. This community is gonna erupt like no tomorrow. Alright, second of all, people are saying. Oh man, now it's obvious he's not going to cash in WrestleMania, he's going to cash in before, he's going to cash in on a face and become a heel, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. You don't know that. You don't know when he's going to cash in. I mean, honestly, I want to see him cash in at WrestleMania 28 because that way, you know, he's guaranteed a world title match for WrestleMania, he's guaranteed to be in the main event, you know? Yes, I know it's not the main event of the show. People are always... I hate when people do that. Say, it's not the main event. The main event show, you know, is the last match. Alright, they're all... Look at other shows. They always say there's more than one main event match, you know. So shut up about that. I'm sick of people saying that. But, he's guaranteed a world title match WrestleMania, basically, when he says that. And, imagine the moment he would have if he won that title in Miami. I mean, WrestleMania 20 isn't epic enough. I mean, they would have Rock versus Cena, possibly, most likely, Undertaker's retirement match, and Daniel Bryan winning the World Heavyweight Championship. You know what epic that Romanian's gonna be? It's gonna be a freaking... possibly one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time, if that happens. That's just, you know, that's one match in two moments, you know, so... Yeah, and, you know, I don't see why people are saying it's obvious. People are saying it's obvious, though. He's been catching him before Mania. If he turns heel, then, yeah, it's obvious. But if he stays a face, I see him keeping it till Mania, and he's going to cash in at Mania. So, I mean, you guys got what you want. You don't want a cheap cash in. You got that, but you're complaining. So, quit your bitching. Three, people are saying Daniel Bryan's going to cash it in and lose it because Daniel Bryan will never become world champion in WWE. These are the same people are saying he's never become world champion. I said when Miz was going to cash in, he was going to lose it. What happened when Miz cashed in? He won the title, main event of WrestleMania. Just three, four years ago, everyone was saying that Miz would never become world champion. Look what the guy has accomplished within the year. On the title. Main event of WrestleMania. If Miz can do that, I'm pretty damn sure Daniel Bryan can do it. And people are saying Daniel Bryan is not going to do it because he doesn't have mic skills, he doesn't have the look, he's not over with the crowd. Alright. Mic skills, he does have mic skills. He saw a promo he did at Michael Cole NXT. People are saying, well, he did a promo on Michael Cole. I don't care, he does a promo bag of chips. That was an epic promo. Uh, you know, if, if he, WWE gives him a mic and go, says... Go out there and do what you want to do with the mic. He'll, I guarantee he'll cut a great promo. Heal or face. He doesn't have to look. Um, actually, he does. I mean, that's a badass picture of him with the U.S. title right there. Come on. This guy, you know, I'm not gay, alright? I'm not going to say, you know, he's the hottest guy alive, you know? I'm not like that. If anything, I'm going to say, you know, Maurice is the fucking hottest diva right now. That's just my opinion, but in the look, I'm not, I'm not even gonna talk about the look, cause to me he has the look, you know. And people are saying he's not over. The guy has been in the company for a year and a half. There are people in the company who've been in the company for years and it's not over. Yoshi Tatsu, his ass ain't over. He's been in the company for like fucking two or three years. David R. Smith, he ain't over. Tyson Kidd, I know he's a heel, but he ain't over. 
Just tons of people are on over. I've been in company for years. Dana Bryan's barely been here for a year and a half. And people are saying, he's not over. Well, that's another reason why he has a briefcase to get his ass over. That's why he has a briefcase. God, like, uh, freaking yeah, ADA says on Skype call, they give the briefcase the guys get over. They give the guys who are already over, then it's basically pointless. I mean, it's me, ever since Seamus got that push in 09, and if they don't, they're jobbers. They're jobbers. Way better last year. They win the title, everyone, he's a jobber. He's a jobber. Del Rio didn't win the title Mania Extreme Rules, he's a jobber. Everyone just needs to learn how to be patient with these pushes. If they push everyone to the top at once, who are they going to push after them then? I mean, why can't they? you guys let them build guys like Miz again? Miz, he had one of the mm, top rises I've seen. I'm not, that's not a joke, I'm telling the truth. The guy was tied champion Morrison, went on his own, started feuding with the number one guy on Raw, John Cena, immediately. He got squished, but whatever. Won the U.S. title twice, won Money in the Bank, won WWE Championship, and main event WrestleMania. All that happened in a, year, a span of three years for The Miz. You know, you guys need to learn to be patient with these builds, because if Daniel Bryan loses at WrestleMania, you know, I'll be pissed. I'll not be pissed, but those men going to go ahead and go, oh, he's a jobber now. He lost, he lost the match. He's a jobber. No one cares about him anymore. No, I'll just say, next time, next time, look at the title, man. You know, I'm actually going to let them have time to build the guy up. You know, to... I don't know what I'm going with this video. <laughs> but Daniel Bryan, this guy will become a champion in WWE. A world champion, I should say. For all people saying, he's never going to become a world champion. Especially his fans. Like, all the indie fans of this guy. Well, not all of them, but the ones I talk to. Saying, I'm a fan of the guy, but he's never going to be a world champion. Um, just a few years ago, everyone was saying Christian was never going to be a world champion. Like what happened to him. Who's the world champion right now? Christian. All I'm saying is, um, let's see where it goes. Because people are saying, he's not over. He will be over. He will. Trust me. He'll get over eventually. So, I know I rambled on a lot in this video, but I'm going to wrap this up. But all I'm going to say is, Dan Bryan, Ganshin at Mania, I'm in for it. A lot of people are not. Are not. People are not. They're a bunch of whiny bitches, I swear. All you do is complain, complain, complain. So, my guys, thanks for watching.